Okay, so here we are, my new LP. Activision, you love them. They're currently uh, mm, butchering Call of Duty. But this is before all that shit. <laughs> this is back when real men made first person shooters. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, definitely. And, uh. Hell yeah. This is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, I've been playing it for fucking ever. It's just a really great game. And I really wanted to uh, play this. I may have just got a little excited. Yeah, I, I hope you're ready for this, because there's about 20 levels or something, so it's going to be great. So here, I just want to uh, show what I'm going to be doing, is that the difficulty levels are kind of fucked, so I'm going to do a custom game, and here I can change these. And to make it a bit challenging, I'm going to set it to limited saves, so I'm going to be using five <coughs> saves. No spawning, because at last rate, I'll be playing on the hardest difficulty, which is just a joke, and I'm going to limit my carrying capacity to two or three guns, just for fun. And cheats are going to be on, but strictly for map skipping purposes, so that I can uh, test map a bit easier through the Let's Play. I won't be using cheats in the actual gameplay. This isn't a military operation. I can't let you boys go down there. Doesn't sound like you have a choice, Captain. All right, you win. We don't know what these scumbags are up to down there, but we do know their leader's name. Saber! Saber, the plan's failed! We got hostages! Whatever it takes, I want those explosives detonated! Kill Saber, you've killed the gang. Understood. John, take this entrance. I'll meet you at Station 6C. Good luck, Hawk. Cops! But it's cheesy on purpose to give it that sort of 80s action movie feel. So here's the objectives. Um, you won't be looking at this screen very much. I'll just show it here and maybe at the start of every level. Uh, the, ob the objectives are rather arbitrary. It's basically get from point A to point B and kill everyone on the way. <laughs> the best thing about this game is the guns. And fucking... This game has the best assortment of guns in any game ever, in my opinion. They, they're all ridiculously powerful, and they are a blast to use. I thought a guy was going to come out of that door, but he didn't. You like a walking tank, basically. <laughs> You gotta love how, like, that dude came out of the door. Like, really bad animation. Yeah, and the, he was just standing in an empty room. Fucking monster closets. Yeah, what the shit? Uh, another awesome thing about this game is the sound effects and the music. Yeah, it sounds like we're in, like, a, um... Like, a horror film. film. Yeah. And all the gore would definitely uh, indicate that. Just, yeah, we're definitely going to go through the bathroom. Probably through the air vent, you know, whatnot. Yeah, well, you'd think so. But uh, John Mullins tends to just walk in the front door. Yeah, wouldn't sneak in. Oh, got to check out on the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's that pussy doing here? 
And this is probably the cheesiest fucking thing ever. Shooting him in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> Some golden eye shit right here. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's totally golden eye. Yeah, well, uh, the. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, and the hardest difficulty on this game is ass rakingly hard. Like, you just see there, I got shot once and my whole armor disappeared. So uh, I will definitely be, I'll definitely be putting death reels at the end of these videos. Sweet. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I didn't actually die in this level. So, but I did in the next because it's retarded. So, look forward to that. Got to drop a save. Yeah, I'll be showing my saves just to show you where the optimal points are to put a save when you're playing with a limited save run. Holy crap. It's really satisfying when you get that red mist happening. Yeah. And that head's just clean off. Yeah. I guess it was really the uh, controversial thing about this game is just how much violence you can cause. <laughs> like that guy there, you sh <laughs> shot him in the neck and like blood came out and he started choking to death and gurgling and stuff. Like, it's pretty intense. But it's not really at all realistic. It's all played up. I was gonna say that they just overdone it. Yeah, a, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's to the point of being goofy rather than realistic. That's why with the music and everything—it's just hilarious. Yeah. thing this old school game. It's like, yeah, don't take this seriously because you have way much, way more fun, I should say, if you don't take it seriously. Especially like with the next game, it's just like a joke. Yeah, they, they kind of ruined Soldier of Fortune 2 by making it too realistic. Uh, they got rid of some of the hardcore, sort of just old school fun. But uh, mm. it's definitely a fun game in its own right. It's just not as good. <laughs> oh, is he gonna get back up on that? <laughs> What's that crap in the corner, that red thing? Is that just the tall? That's uh, shotgun shells. Ah, oh, okay. I thought it was like shells or something. Yeah, one of I couldn't get to them. And I didn't even need them. And then when you realized you could get to them, you didn't need them. <laughs> Oh, look at that! There's a guy in a fucking lock-up! <laughs> You'll also really love the characters. Like, whenever I play this, I'm just like, I fucking love John Mullins. John Mullins. I am John Mullins. And that was a grenade. It reduces them to legs. <laughs> Does it always reduce them to legs? Uh, not always, but it sometimes it's pretty surprising what will happen when you throw a grenade. The shotgun just makes the most shotgun. Really. Yeah, it just makes the most fuck off noise ever. Yeah. Gotta love that music. Yep. And uh, another thing about this game is the environments. Like, we're gonna be going all over the world here. We're gonna be shooting Arabs, Russians, Germans, all sorts of things. It's pretty awesome. 
Oh yes, a game that isn't so necessarily racist because you shoot one of each. Yeah, race. pretty much. It's really multinational as far as uh, bad guys go. It really it shows that like every every place like has assholes. It's not just like America's awesome <laughs> and the rest of the world's shit like most games. And uh, the story, the storyline of this game really makes no sense. I'll probably try and uh, explain it as we go, but you can pretty much ignore it because it's just retarded. And I fucked up with my flashbang. <laughs> Basically, you just set the storyline for go through levels, shoot and kill people, and that's that's it. Yeah. That is seriously it. There's a few... It's the same thing with number two as well. Yeah. Although number two tries to tie in all this, like, this drug trafficking plot and, yeah. And, like, a, It really doesn't work that the well. The nanovirus and shit. Yeah, oh yeah, that nice. virus. Stop! Police! And he gets blasted in the face. Come on, you stupid copper. These guys are terrorists. They're not gonna bloody stop for you. That's what I'd think they are, anyway. Yeah. Is that guy had like a German Swedish accent or whatnot? Did he just like sh stop shooting you? Uh, yeah, they surrender. I was gonna say, execute that guy. Yeah, throw a knife into it. I'll just execute everyone. They do surrender if you shoot their gun out of their hand or something. But sometimes, like, it just... I don't know. Like, when you just blow their heads off after they surrender, it seems, like, ultra sadistic. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate torturer. Yeah, he's taking it pretty well. I'm trying to look through there. You can see sometimes where they've cut design corners, and you can just see the end of the map. <laughs> Typical. Yeah. Raven are really lazy with their maps. Well... That wasn't set up at no, all. No, not at all. It's just like, quick, jump onto the train. And then the train's just waiting. Yeah. You there. <laughs> it just waits for me to fuck around stabbing that guy in the knees. Damn, I'm gone. Zima got away. Copy, look out. your way. They make no excuses for this game being ultra linear as well. This one's over, John. Just got word from the shop. Something big has happened. Much bigger than this gang war. And there you go. That's level one completed. And you get stats at the end of each level. How was that? That was awesome. That, that was awesome. It was nostalgia.